by default, once more, due to the way they were conditioned, we will tune in to failures and give failures a lot more importance than wins in our life. Okay, when we succeed at something, it's kind of like, well, yeah, of course, you know, okay, I succeeded. And as soon as we fail at something, we loop on it, we self-attack, we make it this huge deal, and that's just how it works. To the point where a lot of people, if you ask them, so what are some of your wins recently? What are some of your successes recently? What are you proud of? They can't answer it. Okay. They haven't been collecting them and they're not riding that wave of momentum. So here's one thing that I had going for me back in the day. Okay. This is one of those unfair advantages. There wasn't this thing called social media. Okay. Yes, there was the internet and there were these forums. It was like V bulletin forums, like text forums only. Uh, and then of course you could do some photos, but that's, that's all there was. Okay. There wasn't this thing called social media. There wasn't this abundance or overabundance of information. And not just that, but the bar was a lot lower. Okay. So here's what happened in my dream. I never, or I don't want to say never. I rarely compared myself to other people. I didn't want to make any unfair comparisons. And I, most of the time, again, of course, every now and then I'm like comparing myself to others, but most of the time I would only compare myself to the previous version of me, not someone else, but old me, me from even a second ago. And if I noticed the progress there, I would collect that win and I would celebrate. And what happened is there was this wave, this momentum that built. Okay. Now, People never compare themselves to their previous version of who they are. They're always looking at others through social media and the bar is way too high. Okay. So let me take this example of social skills. I discovered this whole self-help world, reading a book about social skills. It was a book funny enough called the game. Okay. Back in 2006, found out about it through a musician's blog of this band called Jimmy Eat world and the singer, the lead singer, Jim Atkins had uh, this blog post with his favorite movies and books. And I think as a joke, he put that book, The Game, in there. And I randomly decided, you know what? It's 2006 now. It's time for me to read more and be a smarter human being. And uh, I just ordered all the books, right? All the books he put on there, I ordered. Some were really weird. And there was this one called The Game. And I was like, whoa. And and that's what opened my mind to self-help, social skills you can actually improve, okay? So I find out about this book and I read the first chapter and the whole first chapter is this person who meets a stranger and gets that stranger's phone number to hang out again. That was the whole first chapter. It ends with, here's a napkin with my phone number. And that's the end of chapter one. Me reading that blew my mind. I was like, oh, and he got the napkin? The napkin with the phone number? Oh, like blew my mind. I was like just blown away just from, a napkin with a phone number. And reading that, I was like, man, in my wildest dreams, if I could just get a phone number and a napkin, if I could just get that napkin, my life would be complete. That there is how, you might be hearing this now and be like, oh, just a phone number? That's how low the bar was. Now, what did that mean? Instead of placing the bar so high and anything that doesn't live up to that, I start self-attacking and beating myself up over. I'm like, every little win is great. It's getting me closer to the napkin. So first time I said hi to someone, you know, a stranger, I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. 30 seconds. I celebrated that for days, for weeks. Like, oh my gosh, can you realize I just said hi to someone? This is crazy, right? First time I talked to someone for longer than two minutes, went crazy over that. I was like, I am winning at life, right? I am the master of the universe. That's, That's what I was thinking. And I would just ride all those little wins. Little wins now that people are like, oh, that's nothing. Not for me. Nowadays, once more, the bar is way higher, right? You're hearing that like a phone number on a napkin, lame. That's, that, what's that? Why would you even celebrate that? But that's what got me to where I am here today. Because by collecting all those little wins, that wave, that momentum, it builds and you just keep on going. People are like, how are you still motivated? <laughs> that's how. Ride the wave, okay? Now, this doesn't take away from goals. Have big goals, have huge goals. But along the way, collect every little win, no matter how small. And I started going overboard with this to the point where every little thing that I would do would be a win, 
right? I wake up, I start brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth, that's a win. You know, walking down the street, that's a win. I even had a friend who worked with me for a while. And uh, we, I remember vividly, we were on a plane and he pulled out his iPad and he started typing. And with every word that he would type, he'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a, like collecting wins as he types in the words correctly, right? It's like, oh yeah, hello, look at me type hello. Oh yeah, right? Like, look at me reading through these comments here. Mm, oh yeah, ride the wave, says, uh, says Nick. <laughs> look at me saying Nick, pronouncing his name perfectly, reading that comment perfectly. Every little win. Lower the bar. Okay, and don't make unfair comparisons, meaning compare yourself to previous you. Hey, you versus yesterday today, can you read a comment better than yesterday? Yeah, there's a win. And actually take time to celebrate it. Take time to pause and pat yourself on the back. People like cringe when they hear this or even try to do it. They're like, good job, good job. It's like, no, no, own it. Like actually celebrate. That's what keeps you going. It's not the self-attack, okay? And unfair comparisons, meaning don't compare yourself to other people. You're on your own path, your own unique path, unique to you. People are like, I'm behind that person. I'm ahead of that person. You don't know, and you can't compare yourself. They're not you. That's an unfair comparison. And that's what social media does, okay? Social media makes it so, number one, there is no room for action because there's just constant information back in the day. Oh no, there was a lot of room for action. So you'd get some information and you'd execute on it. That's how you internalize it. Okay, people are like, how do you internalize all this content? You act on it. <laughs> That's the only tip. It's, hey, you take action on it and it becomes part of who you are in your life. That's how you internalize something, action. Not reading it twice or three times or four times, acting on it. Okay, so there were times of action versus now. And secondly, you didn't, you weren't as involved in all these other people's lives, right? And, you know, your friends, people, you follow strangers even. Like, you didn't know so much about them, right? So you're not like, oh, I want that. Oh, I want to be like that. Oh, that's what they think. And a lot of it, too, is skewed on social media. It's not reality. So people are making these comparisons and then self-attacking, okay? Sure, be realistic. Don't go delusional to the point where you're failing and you're like, <laughs> king of the universe. No, but by default, understanding that you focus more on failures than wins proactively force yourself, force your focus, force your RIS onto the wins, no matter how small. Okay, you should be riding once more this wave of just, I'm awesome, I'm winning, everything's a win, I'm awesome, I'm winning, look at that, I'm celebrating this constant state of win, celebration, just proud and just crushing it. Like this program is such a game changer. The way everything's structured and the material, it's been already even for me, it's just been, I'm noticing a crazy change in, in the way that my whole life's like playing out. What you put together is just incredible. There's nothing like that. I've just jumped like a million levels. It's just been a complete 180 for my experience of existing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just been so huge in terms of so many of the things I'm finally understanding and realizing and epiphanies I'm having. What you do is a huge inspiration to me and I think it's one of the most beautiful things you can give to another human in this entire world. You saved my life, man. I'm telling you, that's, this is real, man. Sometimes all it takes is just one person who believes in you. Find people who are where you are in life and model them, work with them. I would not be here if I didn't have people who held me accountable. Wow. <laughs> I just felt a click and things are changing. This program was just top notch. Seriously, like this is a masterpiece. This is, this is perfect. Everything, the way it's set up, the live calls, like all the support from the coaches, it's incredible. It's, it's been nuts. I just had my test of joy. This was the best decisions I ever made. Thank you for creating something wonderful like this. This program was phenomenal. This program was uh, was amazing. This program has definitely changed my life. I know for a fact I'm in the right place. This is exactly what I was expecting from the program. It's been uh, spectacular. I feel really lucky to, to have found you. Thank you so much, Julian. It's, uh, it's worth every dollar.